What's good, y'all, man? It's your boy. video a different type of video today like i said it's the most diverse and entertaining channel on youtube we got a story time and i know y'all read the thumbnail so it's the time my plane ran out of gas in the middle of the flight bruh and basically i'm gonna set the scene for y'all i'm gonna tell y'all everything that happened but i'm also making you know uh, i'm gonna give you all the full detail in as little time as possible you know what i mean but i got y'all man so basically this is what happened so you guys are probably wondering, man, you must have been on Spirit Airlines or something for that to happen. Spirit or like whatever, some unknown airline. When I tell y'all, man, this was, this was, I think, what was it? American Airlines? So I'm like, okay, man, we certified. So I come in the flight, man. So let me set the scene for you. So if y'all didn't know the place I went, it was this place called Playa del Carmen, Mexico, man. I'm gonna show y'all right there. Boom, boom. Yeah, it's very beautiful, man. Hey, that's how it looks. But basically, yes, yeah, it's, it's a pretty place, you know. It looks good. So I go there. I'm chilling, man. I'm there for about a week, about a week or so, right? So vacation, yeah, it was a, good, it was good. It was a good vacation, you know. Everything went by smooth. Everything went by good. So until we made our way to the airport, man. Coming back home, basically, this is what happened. So I'm going there, you know. We're chilling, you know, trying to, uh, trying to get back home, you know. If y'all know, if y'all go to air to the airport, man. It gets very, very, very stressful, man. It gets very stressful. Everybody's trying to make it home. Everybody's trying to get somewhere. It's a big crowd of people and we got a lot of stuff going on. So, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, do my part, you know, not trying to be, you know, annoying anything, you know, just so I can just, you know, do, I'm trying to do my part. You know, I'm with my family. I'm trying to do my part, do what I gotta do and just go home. Cause I'm, I'm tired, man. It was like, it was in the morning. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to go home, man, I'm tired. And basically, yeah. So, I'm tired, man. I have practiced the very next day. I have football practice the very next day. So, actually, no, in two days from there. In two days from there. I got practice two days from now, right? So, this is what happened. Basically, I go to the airport. We chilling, man. You know, go through security, stuff like that. Make sure I don't got nothing on me. Yeah, this and that. Everything went by smooth. Everything was good. Until we hopped on the plane. And then, once we hopped on the plane, you know... We got on there, you know, I'm sitting next to this uh, this uh, this old lady, right? You know, she was very nice, you know. She, she kind of looked like my grandma, just a little bit, you know. So I was like, okay, yeah. She was on the, she was on the end, and then there was another lady on the out, on the like, window seat, and she was like, uh, she was like, uh, I don't know, probably like a 30, 37 year old woman, 40 year old woman. You know, she, she obviously had some kids, you know, but, you know, she was, she was a little, she was a little strange, you know. She had like, a, you know, those little, little um whiskey bottles in them little in them little tiny things right there she had one of those so i was like okay 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 you know hey, hey no judging or none but i was just you know i always i always observe everything so i go in there turns out i'm in the middle seat right so i'm in the middle you got the grandma right here you got the whiskey girl right here so i get in i sit there and i'm in the middle you know i always sit by myself and plan because I, I practice so that you know i can fly by myself and stuff because now i mean i'm ready now so basically this is what happened. We know we chilling on a plane, you know. I'm, I'm pretty experienced when it comes to planes. I've been on multiple, multiple planes and stuff, you know. So I'm, I'm pretty experienced. So I'm like, okay, man, smooth sailing, you know. I, li I listen to the thing they say, yeah, everything's good. This and that, we'll be here, this and that, and that many time, you know. You know how we usually do it. So then, I get my headphones on, you know. I got the playlist, man. I got the playlist bumping right now. I'm over here chilling. I'm over here chilling, I'm like, chilling in here, man. I'm over here like, you know, over here, I'm, I'm vibing, so I'm like, you know, I'm not making, I'm not making noise or nothing, but I'm just like, you know, yeah, it's live, man. My music, my playlist, is live, so I'm chilling or whatever, and I'm like, you know what, you know, this fly, you know, it's, ta it's taking, you know, it's taking a little minute because you know, you, you got to travel from the place I was, you got to travel across the ocean, so it was a connecting flight, so you got to travel across the ocean, and then from there, it's gonna go home. So basically. I went on the plane and you know we're just chilling in the air, man. We're chilling in the air, you know. The the grandma, uh, she's she's you know she, she chill, you know. She has like the little earbuds and stuff, you know, with the uh, the little thing that you connect to the phone. She had like a very old phone, so I was like, oh yeah, my grandma's the same thing. So she was chill, man. You know, got the and then the the girl next to me, she she was chill too. Like they was both chill, and I was like, okay, man, it's about to be a good flight, man. We about to go home, man. We lit, man. Like I'm ready. And see, you know, man. I just start feeling a little turbulent. I'm like, a little turbulent, bro. I'm like, 
All right, man. Like, what's going on? I was like, okay, man. It's a little time release, man. It, it, it ain't really nothing, man. It's no problem. So then, then I start feeling it again. I'm like, you know, you never know, man. Something could happen, you know. All right, chilling, man. You know, I got my little music on. You know, I just, I could just feel it. You know what I'm saying? I could just feel the turbo. Next, you know, a third time. I'm like, okay, bro. All right, what's going on? Because hey, these supposed to be so experienced flight people and stuff. This is American Airlines. This ain't no random type of flight thing or nothing. So I'm like, so what is going on? Next thing you know, I heard a little thing, a little intercom, like a little sound effect, right? So basically, I hear on the thing, he says, doo -doo. oh yeah, due to the weather, we are not going to be able to land right here in uh, the connection. It was like Dallas or something, right? We're not going to be able to land here. I'm like, what you mean we're not gonna be able to land here? Where else are we gonna land? He's like, we're, he said, we're going to circle in the air until the weather clears up. And I'm like, what you mean until the weather clears up? What if the weather doesn't clear up? I'm over here like, you know, I'm just looking around I'm like, hey man, what, what, what's going on, bro? Like, so at the moment I'm just like, okay, I'm, I'm chilling like, but I'm still like, you know, what's, what, what's going on? So then next thing you know, I go on there and I'm like, all right, bro, we've been, we've been in the air for a little minute. We circling around, it's been a minute. You got people looking nervous. You got people looking scared. You got, I know, I'm over here like, hey, chill out. Like, bro, like, we're going to be good. We're going to be good, man. We're going to be good. But you know how people get, man. Once one person gets nervous, another one gets nervous, and this and that, this happened. So I'm like, bro, what is going on, bro? Like, am I in, am I in a movie or summer? Like, bro, what, what's going on? Next thing you know, he says, he goes on the air and comes again. He says, doo doo, or whatever. Next thing you know, he goes on there, he says, okay, we're going to go one more time. So I'm like, okay, we're going to go one more time. We're going to circle around one more time in the, in the air. We're going to be good, man. We're going to land, man. I'm going to make it home. I'm going to chill, man. I'm going to relax. Turns out, we go in the air. We still didn't land. And I'm like, all right, man. What, all right, what's going on, man? Next thing you know, he goes on there and he goes, doo doo. Oh, uh, due to our gas, uh, we don't have enough gas. We don't have enough gas. I'm like, what do you mean we don't have enough gas? He didn't, he, I didn't even let him finish. I was already like, bro, what What do you mean we have enough gas? Because he had like a long pause. You know what I'm saying? He said, we don't have enough gas. I'm like, bro, what do you mean we don't have enough gas? Like, bro, this is the pilot. Like, you're supposed to comfort your your um, your passengers. Talking about some, we ran out of gas. Think about it. We're 33,000 feet in mid air right now. Talking about some, we ran out of gas. So I'm like, what? Like, like, what's going on? Like, what do you mean we're running out of gas? Like, we ran out of gas. Actually, no, we literally ran out of gas. And he's saying, yeah, we ran out of gas and we still can't land due to the weather. So at that moment, I'm like, all right, bro. We ran out of gas. We can't land. It's low. It's low. And I'm, 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 I'm already getting my phone. I'm preparing. I'm, man, like, I'm, already, I'm already texting. Texting my uh, probably texting people, you know, telling people, uh, telling some people, all right, man, man, you know, I love you, man, <laughs> goodbye. I'm like, man, it's over. So, next thing you know, I'm like, it's over, man. What do you mean we can't land and we ran out of gas? Those two things don't go together. We can't rain out of gas and don't have nowhere to land. We we're gonna crash. Like, I thought we were gonna crash. I was like, he said, okay, but we're gonna, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna find a way. I'm like, what you mean we gonna find a way? You're, first of all, they're startling all the passengers around. You got the grandma on the side, she's over here panicking. You got the whiskey girl on the, on the other side, she's over here panicking too. I'm just in the middle, like, dang, like, what's going on, bro? I'm over here, like, I took all my headphones, I'm like, shoot. Man, what, what, are, we, what are we gonna do? So I get my phone, man. I'm on my phone, I start, and I'm like, I start texting, I'm like, yeah, this and that, man, I'm gonna text, yeah. Oh yeah, man. Just in case, cause you never know, man. I, I don't want to accidentally. Okay, yeah. Let's say we do crash and we did die, or right, whatever. I didn't want to just go out like that and just go missing. You know, I was gonna say, you know, at least at least tell one person, like, okay, yeah, this is happening, this and that. So yeah. Basically, I'm like, yeah, telling them this and that, this and that. Next thing you know, the the person goes back on the on the speaker and he says something. 